Welcome to this video guide on how to build and paint your Rifter frigate. Every model has mold lines from the casting process. It is best to identify these and using a combination of metal files and a craft knife, carefully remove the excess pieces. You should lay out the individual pieces and start to fit each one without the use of glue to test if they all fit together. If they don't fit, it is usually just a simple task of filing down the connection piece. Once you're confident the piece fits correctly, you can use super glue to stick it in place. Small holes are used to insert sections like the antenna pieces on the sides of the wings. You will sometimes have to drill out the holes further to make the connection secure. I used an airbrush to speed up the painting process. However, the same effect can be achieved by using a brush. It will just take longer. I start by laying down a base coat of black until every inch of the model is covered. To protect the base coat, I then spray the model with a one-to-one -one ratio of water and matte varnish. Once this was dry, I moved on to adding the base color of gray, which was a mixture of Vallejo gray and airbrush thinner. You're looking for the consistency of milk when mixing the paint. I sprayed each panel section with dark gray while leaving the outer edges black. I then added the white to the previous gray mixture to increase its brightness on the top. I sprayed over the previous dark gray but left some of it visible on the outer edges. I then added additionally white to the previous gray mixture to brighten it and repeat the process essentially making a very subtle gradient from the center of each panel, working its way to the outer edges. Painting in random locations, I added the camo pattern. This brown camo pattern was then modulated, as with the gray before. I added a brighter brown to the dark mixture and then painted over the top of the camo pattern. The tech areas, such as the engine, were painted with a mixture of metallic paints. I wanted a dark base coat and used a one-to-one -one mixture of silver and black. I then dry brushed the area with silver to bring out the details. Finally, with a steady hand, I highlighted the edges with mithril silver. It was then time to bring out the panel lines by adding a dark wash over the top of the model. I used a one-to-one -one mixture of black wash and water. The final section was the cockpit area. I first painted the windows with a white and then added a mid-tone blue. Finally, I added light blue to the edges of the windows and used a gloss varnish to make the windows shine. 